Hey guys, this is a quick guide in the current term and quest event. To start with, we first talk with the festival manager located just in the main entrance of the beach. Just talk to him again and follow the quest marker on where to go next. Continue to follow the quest markers for now. Once you reach the quest looking down from above, pass through the cave and you will see a way towards the top of the hill. Climb it to interact with the next NPC. Then for the next quest, I can do this. Do not jump yet. There are two interact buttons here. The first one is near the tip of the diving board, while the second one is near the middle. Interact with the one near the middle of the board to complete this quest. After this, you need to go back to the festival manager in the entrance to complete this quest line. You will receive a decor that gives 100 interior points for the hassle you went through. Up next, we go with the daily quest. I will try to do the route I think is the most efficient or the quickest way possible. First, go to Daniel and buy 21 pieces of yogurt. You will need it for the 21 days of the event. Alright, my starting point is at the entrance of the Termian Beach near the manager. Turn right first and near the Night Vendor Verda, get the Beverage Shop Server quest. Then follow the quest marker to get the quest item. Before going back, get first the quest from the server at the middle. You will do this last by the way as it will take a long time to do. Then get the quest from another server on the left. Follow the quest mark as it will randomly point you towards the random customer. Remember the order of that customer, then go to the middle of the server and tell her correctly the order. After which you can auto pass our way to the first quest, but before that, you will see the shy Lara. Go to her first and get her quest. Hand over the yogurt which we bought at the beginning of the daily quest part of this video. To complete her quest. Go back then to the first NPC we talked to complete her quest. Behind her, you will see a sleeping shy. Get her quest and get a Thermian fruit. Note that you do not need to get the Thermian fruit daily to save some coins. It has a durability and only get one if the durability is already zero. After which, Turn towards the left and you will see the quest from the skewer's shop server. Take it and press the quest marker. Talk to the first NPC directed by the quest marker. Then talk to the next quest NPC, Lika, to get her quest. Turn around first to kill the Thermian Possessed Spirit. Equip the Thermian Fruit and throw it to complete the quest. After successfully heating the spirit, go to the next NPC for the Shami the customer quest.
then turn left and complete the Save the Sum request. Then turn left again to complete the Show Me the Custom request as well. Then go towards the middle of the park and you will find the Shina Runa. Get her quest and turn to the left and around the lake to find the raccoon. Once you find it, sit down and go to its back. Follow the raccoon until it roll over and only then that you can interact with it to get the crust item. Before going back, auto pass the Tarbulsum sister crust to complete it. Along the way you should see Payo. He gives the quest to get a swimsuit or a bikini, but we will need 30 blue orb which will take 6 days of daily quest to complete so we will not take his quest for now. Continue towards the Shy and complete the quest. Turn around and you will get the quest from the Festival Guide. Get the box located in front of him, then go to the NPC pointed with the quest. Return to the quest giver to complete it. Next, turn around again and go alongside the beach towards the pirate Rose. Talk to Rose near the beach water and accept the quest. Chat her and you will need 5 energy for the cannon and 1 Thermian coin for the cannonball. Get both and set up a cannon in a dry area. Once the cannon is set up, in order not to waste cannonballs, just put one for now. Then mount the cannon and move it near the rocks to make it easier to hit the targets. Once that's done, talk to Rose again to complete the quest. Then we can now return the raccoon to the shy in the middle of the event area. After which, turn around again towards the beach and you will see Palong. Get his first quest, caring for the whales. But we will complete this last as this includes RNG in fishing. His second quest is to get the golden sunset, which again we cannot get for now, so just don't get it yet. Up ahead just right towards Captain Muguli, talk to him to get the next quest. He offers two quests. The first quest, Pookie Tail, is what we want. While the second quest, Pirate Ship Treasure, is something you can do if you want to get the pirate's artifact. If you want to get the pirate artifact, you can switch to another character and chop some trees. We do this because the trees from Termian Beach is a bit far and waste of time if we travel back and forth. After chopping trees, put it in the marketplace and switch back to your character. Get the logs and hand over to complete. Then click the quest guide to the spooky tail quest. Along the way though, you will pass through Hario. Get his quest first, then get a matchlock in the shooting range which needs one Thermian coin. Equip the matchlock and shoot the target. Go back to Hario to complete. Continue with the spooky tail quest, you will need to swim towards the pointed area. If you have a Corsair then the better, as she can glide all the way towards it. But for now, I will do the hard way and swim slowly towards it. After interacting, you will need to dive to the specified area to interact with the next object. Then go back to Muguli to complete his quest. Now you have two remaining quests left. One is to make the Termian Sunshine which will take such a huge amount of time to complete by the way, you just need to buy sugar, Thermian spirit, and pineapple from Verda. Buy as many as you want, then do simple cooking to get 50 Thermian sunshine. Problem is, after almost 2 hours of processing, 
I only got 10 of these sunshine so I quit and got back to fishing. I don't think 10 hours worth of processing is enough to satisfy 30 million. I just went back and catch my kois. Also once you complete catching the mud skipper, you can talk back to Palong and get the next quest. Follow the quest guide and go back to him after completing it and get one memory fragment. All in all, you will get 6 blue orbs daily. Amount of extra termen coin will vary depending on how much you spend on the quest. But these extra termen coin can be exchanged for a grape or strawberry juice, giving damage reduction and HP recovery respectively. Or you can go to Jorio to get termen coconut and use this to hit the giant clam located in the middle of the beach. Though you might need to switch channel to find an available one. Anyway, that's it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.